The University General Studies requirement continues on with the humanities, arts, and design, and social behavioral sciences. These are the third and fourth core areas. These are otherwise known as HU for humanities, arts, and design, or SB for social behavioral sciences. In the study of humanities, arts, and design, one develops a deeper awareness of humanities, arts, and design. Courses in this area can come from philosophy, history, religious studies, English literature, various cultures and arts and design. This area, however, is not courses in which one is practicing in art, like painting or, or drawing. Rather, these courses that satisfy this area are more of the history of art or the culture of music. In the social behavioral sciences area, one studies human behavior within society and individually. You'll find courses in economics, geography, some history, political science, psychology, sociology, just to name a few courses. There are many courses out there to meet social behavioral sciences. For those of you who are political science majors, this area, social behavioral sciences, will be satisfied by your political science courses in your major. For global studies majors, some courses satisfy the social behavioral SB requirement, but there are others that satisfy the humanities, arts, and design part, which are HUs. On your DARS, all of you should notice at least one political science or global studies course listed right here underneath social behavioral sciences. You might also see some other courses either taken prior or currently enrolled in in the humanities and social behavioral area. For this requirement to be okay, otherwise, as I've been saying, green, all sections must be completed. So for this requirement to be okay, you check the following. You need to have 15 hours overall, so that would be about five classes. A minimum of six hours, roughly two classes in each area, and a minimum of three hours upper division. Remember, upper division is 300, 400 level. So if you still need, say for an example, a humanities and design course to complete this requirement, you can consider taking a lower division one next term. The fifth and final core area is natural sciences. Now this can be quantitative or it can be general, otherwise designated as the codes SQ or SG. This core area helps you appreciate the scope and limitations of science and its contributions to society. The core area is given two classifications, quantitative or general. Each course must be four credits. What that means is it includes a lab component. So do I need to take a science with a lab to meet this requirement? The answer is yes. Now the difference between the two is that the SQ courses that's required, you have to do one of these. These include a substantial introduction to the fundamental behavior of matter and energy in physical and biological systems. The SG component covers aspects of scientific inquiry that lend themselves to, more, to be more qualitative or descriptive discussions of science. So to meet these two requirements, you must take one SQ, one quantitative course, and then the other natural science can be another SQ or it can be an SG requirement. Now it's wise to have your math course done, in other words, your MA requirement, done before taking a natural science course, as the combination of the two may make your term more intensive. So if you have your math completed already, or by the end of this term, you may want to consider taking an SQ next term. I've discussed, now I've discussed the general studies, the five core areas, but the general studies also has three awareness areas, and that is the last part of general studies. The awareness areas are three awareness areas that promote appreciation and respect of cultural diversity within the United States. 
otherwise known as C, global awareness outside the United States, that is, an international perspective, otherwise known as G, and a historical awareness, designated as H, to deepen an understanding of the past, which can shape the present and the future. Now, unlike the core areas already mentioned, these are courses instead of a specific credit hour. And these courses can also satisfy requirements in general studies or the major. Or some people say, these requirements can also double count in your major or general studies area. And you may notice some of the courses you've already taken or you are currently enrolled in are satisfying one or more of these areas. This is quite common.